Hey everyone, Gretchen here, Cat and Pals, and it's my empties video. She'll see me, I was just trying to make the thumbnail, I was trying to make it like I was juggling it all, but eh, it, it's just goofy. Anyways, let me start with some empties and I'll just give you a life update while I'm at it. First off, I got a new lamp. I don't want to glare you too bad, but I took the plunge because the overhead lamp here is not all that and we're going into the winter months. So, I'll start with Enchanted Candy Potion by Bath & Body Works, only because I'm still working on it, and I have, um, oh, candles from the keeping room, like sugar, maple sugar flapjacks or something like that going, and these do not mix. This is more of a fruity scent, and I'm getting there to the bottom. I don't know if you can see it in the glass, no, but it's nice. Uh, it will say... It does remind me a lot of the soap and it's just the sugar berries and the whipped pixie dust. But there's the soap and it really smelled pretty much like the candle. Um, so I had these going at the same time. So I'm just going to put them behind. Them. There'll be a lot of that stuff falling over business. And, and then I... Also got through this American Home Warming Pumpkin Chai by Yankee Candle. I got it at Ollie's. And can I just tell you, this was the slowest burning candle. And I used a crock. I Well, like, you know, a um, candle holder that went the whole way up. I put it on my radiator. I had that really thick tempered glass on top of my... On, only a couple of them. That, so you can put stuff on there. And... That kind of helped warm the bottom and this still took forever i think i spent nearly all of october trying to get through this one but it was nice it was kind of toasty and and it did kind of um kind of get that pumpkin and a little bit of spice into it i got a lot of soap empties too by the way um what so I'm kind of like, I guess I'm starting out backwards because the way the bag goes is my Halloween basically on top and then it works its way down probably to more summer scents. I can't remember the last time I did one of these. So it's full and I want to make sure I get it through it because I pulled it out of the closet and just stuff went everywhere. So how was everyone's Halloween? I did throw up a little Halloween vlog on here. I... I'm sure most of you are aware I moved back to my original hometown after being going gone for 30 plus years. 30 plus. Um, I'm still adjusting to it, still trying to get things unpacked. But, you know, we had a Halloween parade. We had the promenade through town because I have a little granddaughter. So I went with her and we had trick-or-treaters. We had 206 trick-or-treaters. And we ran out of candy by 7.47. Hold on a sec. I keep a little Halloween journal. And I kept saying 8.47, but Trick or Treat was from 6 to 8. And I wonder if I put in here. Oh, no, I did put 7.46 p.m. And um, here's my layout I did for Halloween. And I just put the temp and my first year back and chloe dressed up as a witch and um oh i did a ghost walk too i'll have to tell you guys about that so it was something they put out on so i live in bedford pennsylvania and they put a thing out saying they were having a ghost walk and i know they had it last year as well because i remember seeing it and i thought i wonder if they'll walk like around like what part of the neighborhood if i'll see them I did not. They only walked down. So, so I signed up for it this year. And it was a nice night to go. And they only like took us past the courthouse and down to the graveyard by the old primary school and back up. That was it. Oh, no, they did take us around the corner. And we ended down at the Greystone or the Fraser house. I think it was 15 per person. But I wanted to go. I wanted to try it. And it was, again, a nice evening. There was a couple 
uh, children, and I don't know why you would bring kids to something like that, but they were both, there was only two kids there, but they were both really good. So had a good time doing that. Um, Jack Orlando, and this was a mainstay. And let me tell you what, I am impressed. And now most of my candles still smell like really like smoky because I use the lid to out in them. But this really threw a fruity, like a fruity Kool-Aid, Fruit Loops, not Fruit Loops, but like a Kool-Aid smell. And Brett's girlfriend, Nikki, even said when they walked in, it smells really good in here. And this was the only thing I was burning. So that's pretty nice. Again, this was a Walmart candle. They had different kinds, but I wanted to get the one with the Jacqueline. It's the only one and really I like to smell. So that I like the smell of. So that was nice. Um, I have another one here. Oh, banana walnut muffin. It was nice as well. Look at that lid. I don't know what I wanted to just tell you about this, but I think I might keep the lid and put it on. I might just do that. But it was sweet banana, golden nutmeg, cinnamon sugar muffin. And it was the three wick. Even like opening that up, I definitely get the nutmeg scent out of that. So that was a nice one. And you know what? That's what I was going to tell you. I burned it in combo with the pumpkin chai. Well, uh, I burned everything with the pumpkin chai because it just wasn't going away. I couldn't believe it actually had wax. You can still see a little bit of it there. But the wax wouldn't even melt off the sides. That was bizarre. Um, Real quick, some soap because I think I have... Two of the autumn s'mores. Last year's or the year's before's packaging and this year's packaging. So really nice. I have one right now in the bathroom downstairs. Um, it does say crisp apple, marshmallow, cinnamon spice, but it's just a really nice mouth. It doesn't hang off your hands like, um, you know, like some, like I have afternoon apple picking right now. It's an older one and it just, my hands, it smells like an apple right now. So those were nice to have. And then this one, sea salt and lime. This was left over from the summertime. I don't like this one. I got it because, you know, here, lime, eucalyptus, sea salt. All those sound wonderful. But I, Mark really liked this one. But um, I'm glad to see it's done. Happy Halloween. This was an old one, and I wanted to get through it. It was... Uh, it says mysterious marshmallow fluff, candy corn, and sweet orange. So that one's gone. I, see, I can barely remember what this smells like, and I just finished it last week. Mm. Kind of has reminiscent of a, like a cough medicine almost. Why? But I'm not sure, but I'm happy to be done with that one. It's my last one, too. This was this year's right sugar spell. Am I right on that? And it's just the lemons, gumdrops, and sweet musk. Really nice fruity scent. And okay, so I have like three of these now. You know how you go year to year with something and you're like, okay, I really like this scent. And then the next year you're like, why did I buy this? So I'm hoping by next year, I really like this scent again because I didn't, it had a very earthy note. Fall, fall, get together, girl. Fall farmhouse, Bath and Body Works with the beautiful copper hammered lid. It is the three wick and it is Spice Pumpkin, Pine Branch, Fresh Fall Air. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It, it, I don't know. It starts like on, it smells okay, but, and I really like it. And then once I start lighting it up, it like, I don't know. It's the earthy note in it. Um, uh, I'll talk about that again another time, like next year when I'm like, oh my, that smells so great. So anyways. Let me know you, your guys' if you like burned or melted or used any of these, uh, what you thought of them and would you like repurchase them? Oh, before I forget, because now it's November, right? Thanksgiving is in a couple weeks. Our town put out their Christmas lights today 
hung them up. I mean, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous weekend. We don't get these around here very often. Um, it's in the 70s right now. It's bizarre. It'll be snowing next week, probably. I hope not, but you know, snow's like on the way. But they put out the Christmas lights, which is cool. But I don't know if they'll probably leave them off until Thanksgiving. Mm. Sweet caramel. Sweet caramel. Salted caramel by Yankee Candle. This is a classic to me. I love their salted caramel scent. This one I picked up at a Goodwill. And it was already like starting. I mean, they probably lit it once or twice. And then probably said, oh, I don't like it or something. You know, I'm guessing. This happened to us all right. Um, I, I wish I had the scent notes. But it's that classic caramel uh, with like the sweetness and um I, I wouldn't say really salt here comes Bella that's why I'm looking over that direction so that one was nice and that's my new word of the day that one was nice raspberry jam I don't I don't even remember cracking this open and using it I have so many soaps Ah, this one, whew, yeah, it's nice. <laughs> There's that word. Um, so <laughs> raspberry jam, fresh strawberries, and vanilla cake crumbs. This one, too, definitely took on a medicinal note. But I think it's probably just that time of year when they're adding, like, cherry and raspberries and um, things like that into the soap mix that just keeps telling me, you know, and you wash your hands, you're like, okay, it's either apples or cough medicine. And then spiced apricot cider. I have this one going right now. Well, go on. I have this one up in my bathroom. It is apricot cider and cinnamon sticks. And again, this one kind of takes on that apple smell. It smells a lot like that afternoon autumn picking. I don't think they, did they come back out with that again this year? Because I had so many of them. I didn't get, I hardly got any fall soaps. Mm. Love you, Cherry, much. See, now we're getting back into like probably September, August. And they had packaging this year and last year. And I think this one is last year's. But this is a really nice cherry scent. And it does, it's very nice for summer. Um as well and then you know i don't really like floral so i tend to stick with fruity notes also for the spring and that was like a nice leeway from spring into summer raspberry tangerine exactly what i think exactly what it the label says raspberry and tangerine and i usually get one of these at least once a year uh just raspberries tangerine and lemon zest it's a safe one you know like if you have family members or don't really like some of the soap scents um this is lemons pineapple mandarin sun washed sun washed citrus i believe i picked up a bunch of these at the sasl and i should be about down to the end of those now let me move my bag over here and i can just reach down in it I almost certain that I bought these. They were a three pack at Dollar General store, or I won them in a family auction. But it was cranberry chutney, caramel apple, and vanilla shortbread. I really don't know why I took the time to burn them because they were so small and so light, but they are now done. And I think I remember lighting, like, getting through two of them. And I said, I don't know why I'm even going to see. Okay, look, there's the wax on that one. There's the apple. <laughs> and here's the shortbread. Yeah. If I'm going to set my walls up and my ceiling, it's going to be with something that smells good and not something that's just going to set my walls up. Black cherry fruit pop. I guess it's like that cherry. Everything 
like I said, kind of smells smoky because I put the lid on it. But it, I mean, they all have really clean burns, so that's always positive. Black cherries, pineapple juice, sweet cherries, vanilla. Would I get it again? Probably, because you know when the next season comes out, I get all excited. I did well in the soaps. Wow, and I'm not even done yet. Yeah. So you're probably curious as I put that over there, how is things going with, let me adjust this back. There. How are things going with pack unpacking? I'm getting there. I got through all the boxes in the hallway and I do have one tiny one left that says my knickknacks so I probably should open up to see what's in it and then um, I'll probably put that stuff in my hutch and I have a big box I'm going through right next to me that has um like a lot of longer burger in it my baskets and some other things like that I just threw in there because it was a nice big box and, uh, you know, when you're, you're moving, you just, well, I just tried to look at the boxes that held a lot of stuff. And I'm slowly, I almost have, well, really, I do have all my Halloween stuff taken down. And I put half of it away this morning because I'm putting it up in the attic. And then I have the other half to put away. And then I'm going to pull out my Christmas boxes and start from there. Has anyone else put up their Christmas tree yet? I have not yet, but I'm getting ready to. I just, I've had, I just pulled one of these out, right? Let me look, let me look back here. Yeah, okay. This is a really, I this is probably my favorite one out of the whole bunch so far. By the way, it's just cherry, citrus, and frosted berries. But the, you know, their label, of course, is so stinking cute. I might have another one in here. I do. Three of them. Again, these, these empties are probably three to four months worth. Now, my favorite candle, especially for the summer. And I will probably jump in back into these in the spring as well because I don't do florals and lemon cake pop oh my goodness and i own a lot of them but it's these frosted citrus glaze vanilla cake pop sugar crystals oh, let me get rid of the smokiness oh, it's just lemon sweet tarts i don't know remember the razzles razzle dazzles or whatever you chew the gum or chew the candy turns into a gum in the lemon flavor wow I just, I could, I could just lie in a pool of those and be happy. Blue Raspberry Snow Cone, One Wick, Bath and Body Works. I like this so much that I got it in Three Wick. And again, you see, I'm really, t I tend to lean heavily in, on the fruit side. Uh, it, there is no scent description, and I don't think... I have a three wick. No. But it's, it's fruity. Gingerbread marshmallow. Oh, you know what? This was Christmas in July. It sure was. I'm like, why do I have a gingerbread marshmallow in here? But I pulled it out for Christmas in July. It melts. Gingerbread spice, eggnog, spice rum, vanilla frosting. All I can smell is... There, it's getting better. Uh, very spicy. I guess that's probably the eggnog. The gingerbread? A little bit, but it's more just like the spicy eggnog scent of it. And um, rum? Mm, brown sugar crystals as well. You know, like, I love that sweet cinnamon pumpkin uh, shower gel by Bath and Body Works. It has that same spiciness factor, if you're familiar with that. Which, they had their fall clearance, well, not clearance sale, but they did have like a fall sale where you could get select things 50% off. And I did manage to get one of my shower gels 
sweet cinnamon pumpkin so i have it for next year because it's like i don't know i'm very i'm very like the seasonal kind of person i kind of stick to a tradition and uh i'm working on that right now but i wanted to make sure i had one for next year because i want one every year okay so this is a new one cute 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 the apple of my eye green caramel apple i only got two of these i have another one upstairs and it's just uh, apple, caramel drizzle, and melted brown sugar. I think it is heavy on the apple scent. If I remember, I I uh, used this early when fall started. Yeah, definitely, not. it's like caramel apple. Once upon a lime, this is just a lime scent. Uh, sweet lime, lemon zest, and sugar cane. That was last year's. Mark out on his motorcycle right now. And a lot of people were out on their bikes because of the nice weather. And I just thought I heard him, but it was not. Peach Prosecco Macaroon or Macaron. And it's just peach Prosecco, vanilla cream, and macaron cookie. I only got one. Peachy. another one wick in the hot cocoa and cream i really like the hot cocoa and cream by bath and body works i just got the little melts from yankee in the movie night cocoa i have not tried one yet so i can't really say and i you know chocolate layer cake by yankee that kind of nauseates me after a while but this one i really like it's it's a light creamy cocoa um definitely kind of Lightened by vanilla. Yeah. I really like that scent. And then you, of course, get the cocoa note <clears throat> as well. I do have a shower gel empty in here. It is firecracker pop, cherry, citrus, juicy berry. I probably finished this up at not November, October. Okay. Um, September, August. I probably finished this up in August. So I think I started at beginning of July. No, probably June. It takes me about three months to get through a shower gel. Somewhere, you know, somewhere about there. It's a nice cherry scent. And then I only saved two melts. And I'll tell you why. Okay, so I, I went to Walmart one day and was sniffing the new wax. And we're talking, this is probably like late summer, they got in the fall wax. Maybe not. It was probably like July. Anyways, crisp fall leaves. Apple, leaves, balsam, berry, vanilla, spice, and ambered woods. Okay, so I, I'm like, I like it so much, I got two of them. So, <laughs> sometimes when I get a new scent, I'll try a cube of it to see if I like it. Or try to use it early on in case I want to go back and get more. And yeah, as much as I like this on cold, I did not like it on warm. And I think that first one I threw in, I turned it off and threw it out. And I said, okay, now I have two clamshells of these, right? So I sniffed around my other wax and I found the sparkling iced tea by Better Homes and Gardens. And they both are Better Homes and Gardens. And I'm like, okay, this one's, I think, will kind of subdue the strong. And, I, and I'm guessing it's probably the Amber Woods. So I took one cube of this, and it smells very lemony. And I took two cubes of that. And I did that. And I just did a, I'll be honest, I just did a three-hour melt. I did not do a six or nine hour because I don't think I could stomach more than three hours at a time on this. And I made myself get through both of them. So I just rem I just saved those two because I think I had talked about it a couple of times. Probably keeps pacing back and forth. She must be hungry. Um, but I didn't want to waste them. So they're, they're done and over with. And I had talked about them on previous videos. So I just want to make sure I wrap that up. So that's it. That, oh my goodness. I got through a lot of hand soaps. 
I I don't know why. Why do I put hand soaps in here? Because I use a lot of them. And I guess watching other people's empties, it might give me an idea if I want to get try it or not. But then I'm so, like, so stuck on one scent. One noted scents, uh, fruity, some bakery, some like I love peppermint, uh, a tiny bit of pine, and that's it. You know, I, I don't venture out to all the weird soaps out there in the universe. I'm like old faithful over here. I stick to what I like. But anyways, it just helps me fill up my bag. It makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something. So that's probably what it is. Let me show you. I don't know how I lower this tripod down, but there you there. All my scents. Ah, all my candles. And uh, so I said, I wanted to tell you guys about how Halloween went. 206 trick-or-treaters. So game plan has to be different. You know, because I looked in my years past. I've kept track of like the last seven years. And I had like 53 one year, 36 one year. Um it really never got past 60 and then i was blown away went and running out of candy had to i started out handing in like three pieces it went down to handing one piece and then me and samantha combined and it was just really just one piece um yeah so next year i have to try to plan that a little bit better but you know it's my first year back and i was only going to get like one bag of candy because i thought i wouldn't get any kids and then Chloe's little friend's dad said, oh, yeah, you'll probably end up getting at least 100 because it's so busy. He was right. I doubled that. And then uh, Nikki's parents, they got, she said she got almost 300. So there was that. And um, working on Christmas, getting all my Halloween stuff put away, working on Christmas, getting it out. It's beautiful weather here. Can't believe it's November. The end of the year will be here soon. And um, I do. So I guess where was I going with that? Getting all this stuff unpacked. I finally got a lot of my crafty stuff done. I want to give like a craft room tour. And yeah, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of like stuff here and there. But I, I do want to give that. And then I'm ready to get into crafting. I've just kind of been salivating thinking, what do I want to do? Yes, I want to craft. It's been something I want been wanting to do and I have not done it yet since I moved here and we'll be here a year in January I hope everyone's having a great November and let me know what you're up to and I'll talk to everyone real soon bye